A couple of you might notice that I've been talking about quackery and hill fraud a lot lately. And I have because all of these fad diets and, and um, new age uh, occultic mysticism um, frauds masquerading as real science is really starting to get on my last nerve. Okay, so let me come straight to you out of my own kitchen. Alright, on this plate you see turnip greens, you see rice, you see turkey, you see raw celery. And in this cup, you see grapes. Black grape. This is an example of a common sense balanced diet. It has food from all the food groups except the dairy group. And I'm not against consuming dairy products. There's a reason why we use dairy products now. And for all of you people out there that are on this whole African vegan kick, please check the links in, in, the signet, in the description of this video so that you can see just how long people of African descent on the African continent have been drinking all kinds of milk. Cow milk, uh, camel milk, sheep milk, goat milk, um, for a variety of different reasons because there are benefits to consuming dairy products that people saw a long time ago and they started doing this as a way to get dietary supplements through various different conditions. Now you could argue that we don't need to consume dairy products anymore and I'm open to considering that. Um, but there are definitely nutritional benefits and one tried and true element of age-old wisdom over the years is that consuming a little of everything among getting adequate exercise is a great way to be healthy. If you think about it for a minute, um, a lot of us will talk about all these people in different lands, they'll talk about, oh, look at the such and such and such so and so, they don't eat meat and they live this long, that and the other, without forgetting that a lot of times these people are functioning on a different set of genetics, on a different set of, 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 of genes that make them susceptible to certain things. And they'll forget totally about the people in their families, their grandparents, and their great-grandparents, and their great-great-grandparents that lived to be 90 and 100 years old and ate all kinds of meat, ate pork, ate beef, ate chicken, ate fish, and the difference was they don't eat processed food, and today's diet is full of processed food, and secondly, they ate a balanced diet. In addition to eating all kinds of meat, they ate plenty of vegetables, they ate rice, and they drank juice and water, and thirdly, they were really active. They were active. They were not sedentary. And today, people will get in their car despite gas prices being high as I don't know what, and will drive to the store that's only a mile up the street when they could just walk or ride a bike. And these are some examples of how we just don't use common sense when we talk about becoming healthy. We attach to all these fad diets that are not proven by by any type of scientific study. And people might say, oh, you're using the European science. Uh, la 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 la. You're using this, you're using that. And I already addressed that. Again, see the, the description for um, just how African eating meat is and how African eating grains and um, vegetables are and how African um, consuming dairy products are. And 
that'll address that. But um, people just forget about how basic common sense is in line with what basic science has been saying for years and years and years. These things have been proven. And it's kind of funny, another thing that amuses me is how the same anti-meat folks are often the same anti-vaccination folks. They hate eating meat. They hate vaccination. They hate, um, they hate dairy products. And they say, and, and uh, some of them even hate uh, grain and rice products. And they talk about how you should be strict vegans. And then they'll talk about how vaccination is not necessary. Um, and that the body has natural vaccination process. But then they eliminate all the meats and all the dairy products. And all the other things that contribute to the body being able to develop a natural vaccination process. You do any research on immunity building foods and you'll find that these foods are, are beans, grains, and meats. These are the foods that your body needs to produce a healthy white blood cell count. Then you got this master cleanse thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I think there are some ben there are there can be some benefits to doing a um, a short cleanse. I guess that's if you want to call it under certain conditions. But this whole master cleanse phenomenon is grossly overrated. And if you do a, a cleanse incorrectly and under wrong circumstances, you can seriously get hurt. You can seriously hurt yourself by losing some of the nutrients that your body is using to get rid of the toxins inside of your body. As we've already discussed with some of the foods that help develop immunity. That's some, some things that you should take into consideration before you start latching on to these fad diets. Some of the age-old wisdom that you've been taught to follow growing up is age-old wisdom for a reason. Because it's been proven to work. Processed food is the problem. The unnatural preservatives that they put in things. Um, some And some of the other unnatural things that they go through. I think people are quite aware that uh, a lot of hormones and, and steroids are being placed in meats. And that's quite a valid concern. I don't dispute that. But this concern could easily be alleviated by going to the farmer's market. And getting your meat from a farmer that uses natural methods of, of growing these meats. And these same people forget that vegetables also undergo unnatural processing. Such as pesticides. Such as um, other unnatural vegetable growth processes. Um, hormones. Vegetables too un, are, are um, injected with growth hormones and, and unnatural growth processes. You can't, if, if you're, you have to examine this issue in its entirety. In conclusion, folks, use some common sense. Have a balanced diet. Use balance. Eat from every food group. You hear all these quack folks talk about how the, for, the food pyramid is so evil, how the evil FDA came up with the food pyramid and this, that, and the other. And if you just look in throughout African history, throughout Native American history, and throughout the histories of various other cultures, you'll see that the, very, the concept of the, four food, the um, food pyramid has been around longer than America has existed. Come on, folks, let's use some common sense here. Let's use some factuality here. And let's not jump to conclusions and jump on fad diets and then try to concoct some science to try to make it sound like it makes sense. I'm out.